Yo guys, welcome back to the Friday podcast. I'm your host, Big J. I'm RJ. And today we have award-winning director, Joey Lever. Stop it. Smashed it. Proper award-winning, I'm telling you. I appreciate it, man. You know what? Because that was around the floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pure applause. I've been That's here for it. a second. Thanks for coming on, Amy. Thanks for coming hey, on. Man. I know we've been trying to get yeah. this worked out for a long time, man. We have. Appreciate yeah. you coming yeah. on. I know with your busy schedule, attending all these film, like things you're doing and stuff festivals and yeah, stuff yeah that's it do you know what i mean premieres um, going on? yeah that was uh, that was mad we'll get to that we'll get, we'll to, get that. to that we'll get to that so um we st- we'd like to start off by asking uh where did you grow up origins oh mate oh, early school life Leicester. Are you original born Leicester. in red Leicester, yeah. yeah red Leicester, mate yeah Leicester general that's it 3 a.m in the morning standard been it been it all my life yeah 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 from what uh, Syston to Rofley to now in Salby, so very close. Okay, barely left the nest. Um, uh, so family life growing up, any brothers, sisters? Yeah, I've got uh, oh god, it's the whole family history. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like, I've got a few brothers, I've got a few, I've got one sister, yeah, uh, that's all on the other side of the family. It's one of them. Um, growing up, then primary school. How was school? Yeah, primary school was good. Um, it's that standard creative though, like you don't. <sighs> Science, maths, English, you can't connect with it. You can't do that. Yeah, it's, it's a standard curriculum, isn't it? They need to change that, uh, man. It's the honestly. same shit. No, but do you think it's, I think it's changed now a bit, you know? I think it's they a, get more... You, it's a lot more visual learning. Yeah, What's yeah. the difference between, like, a primary school and an academy? Because I know a lot of primary schools have changed into academy. It's, it's just the general rule of it. It's it, all primary and secondary schools are now just turned to academies because they can't be community colleges or something like that. It's a whole like law book. So baffling, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, Good question, but I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have we'll no Google idea. Yeah. We'll yeah, I, mean, I might have to Google that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know it. Um, then after that, going into secondary school? Uh, yeah, secondary school, went to uni. Um, came out of a first degree, but no, I... never used it in my life. <laughs> never Probably used the first degree. I've never told anyone. <laughs> in what? what? What did you? Yeah, uh, first degree, move an image. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, is like, I think it's like zero point. It's either zero point three percent of the country get it, or it's three percent of the country get it. Either okay. way, like no one gets the first immediate. And like, <laughs> I've never used it in my life. Serious. Standard. But it's there on paper. It's there on paper. At least you got it. Though. At least yeah. you got it. <laughs> so where did your creative side come from then? Um, I've always been creative. So I've always, I've always drew things. I've always made stories up. I've always acted out things when I was a kid. Like, it's always just been within me. Like, and I don't, I don't think, like, my family's fairly creative either. Like, <laughs> I'm the only one, bar my cousin who's a musician, mm. I'm the only one that's, like, really broke into any sort of, like, art form. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so I think growing up surrounded by that, you kind of, like, want to be a bit more fluish, want to yeah. act out a bit more. So that's, I guess that's that's why. What made you see, like, did you, did you see something that you think, oh, yeah, I want to do this? Um, yeah, there's a few things. Obviously, growing up, like, I watched, like, Jurassic Park. And yeah, man. All these that animations. Was game changer, that Oh, 100%. But I, 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 didn't, I, mean, I didn't play games until the GameCube came out. So mm. I didn't, I didn't ever had that ear either. So as soon as I played games, I, like... Even then, I was just like, this is, like, amazing. It introduces you to a whole new oh, world. 100%, man. It's a whole different, like, story element, right? You have books, you have art, you have mm. films, games. Like, it's all it's stories. I love stories. Yeah, I've man. always just you know what? been with that. If you think about it deeply, like, even me, you know, I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I'm creative or not, but, you know, when I used to watch movies and still while I watch movies, I just don't watch, I don't watch just the movie, yeah. I always think behind the scenes of what's going yeah, on yeah, there. You, yeah, How did think. they make this happen? Yeah. How did they make this weather happen? How did they make the visual yeah. effects happen? Yeah. But obviously, then you just get the normal person who just watches the movie and then goes home. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah but then what? you see the behind the scenes. Like, obviously, we thought when we watched that BBC High. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was filmed in Dubai. Because yeah. them lot, though, they got an award, you know? Yeah, I know. It's a big up, massive. I was going to get onto that. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, we th- I thought that was filmed in Dubai and then it turned out like they had a massive green screen at the end of it. Really? <laughs> yeah. It it's crazy. Movie. Honestly, it's mad. Don't know but you never think about that, innit? Like you said, you thought it was um, filmed in Dubai. So, you know, just watching stuff and just thinking you're behind the scenes. How did that make that happen? Where did he say it was filmed? Like, he said it's some stupid <laughs> yeah, area. It's just, it's... I can't remember now. But yeah. But yeah, um, even like from young thinking, just what's going on behind the scenes and like, yeah. 
no, actors normally get most of the limelight in it. Directors, you, you don't really see them. You, most of them, you see their names. You don't really know how they look in it. You're like Spielberg yeah, you know, and shit yeah. like that. You don't even... Do you know how he looks? Yeah, no, I do. I do know how he looks. Yeah, but most people, the <laughs> yeah, average no, person don't really I know. know. No, you get no, what I'm saying? The don't know how he looks. No, the average person. So don't. what made... Did you, did you ever try acting or anything like that? Or Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I've, I've tried everything, man. Like, um, I, I, I did art in school. I did acting. I did drama. Uh, then moved into moving image. It was... I've done, I've done everything... Behind the camera and in front of the camera. What is moving image? Moving image is film. It's just a, it's just what. Oh, they, another term. It's just what they term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, what is what is your favorite part of the role? Is it directing, or is I, it the acting? Is it in, behind the scenes or is it in front of the camera? If you asked me ten years ago, I'd want to be an actor. Okay. Like, like that was my like core dream. Right. But being behind the camera and making the magic happen, there's nothing better. Honestly, like, it's the only art form in the world where you need someone else to be there. Like, Cause you get you, you get to put someone else's vision to life in it. That's yeah, crazy. But also your own vision. Your own vision, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Really? Like, yeah, really. Yeah, if someone gives you a script, that's you mad. Can, like, full heartedly do that. But like, if you've got an aching feeling of making something, then you can just go and do it. That's yeah. how you perceive the script, isn't it? Basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I got an early question for you, but who's the good director of all time? Okay, that's that's right. <laughs> that's an easy okay, right. So that's 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 a tough one. And why? Yeah. So St Steven Spielberg is obviously yes one of the greatest directors yes, in the he world. Is, yeah. Uh, like you can't like E. T. Jurassic Park. You you, like, can't. you can't. You can't. Like, you just can't. No, I, I'd say he's the best. But recently, like I've been watching like uh, Matthew Vaughan's films. Who? Oh my god! You're, like he's a huge inspiration. Mm. Joel Crawford. Obviously, Nolan. Yeah, 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 like clearly, like he's obviously a goat as well. Like, there's a few, there's a few. Mm. Scorsese, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking Scorsese. Yeah, I like Scorsese. No. <laughs> what? Like, all, like really old school films. That's another thing. Like, I, I never really watched like I've never watched Jaws or like Schindler's List or like. See, I love the I love the Godfather's. I've man. never seen the Godfather. Um, do you know Jaws? Yeah. Do you know why that's so nostalgic for me? Because uh, in 1999. We went on a big family uh, holiday to um, Florida, innit? Yeah. And obviously we went um, Disney World. Yeah. And there was actually like a Jaws ride, in it, And it was That's so sick. I, I think it's gone now. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah, So this is like 27 years ago. Yeah. Three years but, ago. But it's sick. Like, you know, the experience is sick. And then I remember um, Mummy. You know that Mummy movie? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was a sick ride. And, yo... They were, they were the days, you know. I don't know how it is now, and I do want to go back with my daughter. Man. No, it's, it's probably crazy now. Like you haven't been? No, I've never been, but it's probably crazier now. You ever been to Disneyland? No. No? No. It's a sick experience, you know. Yeah, I know, babe. Once in your life. <laughs> you Especially, I don't know, man. We, it was a good opportunity to go, because obviously we were still kids then. I was only 10 years old then. I was going to Africa every year at that time. <laughs> they were shipping me off to Africa every year, bro. Um, so what? There's an Orlando Studios coming in the UK. Is there? What? Yeah, in Bedford, it's being built right now. It's you know what? I think I did see something. Right? I did see something. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. But it's probably gonna be like you know, you know, like when we when America do something, we're gonna get like the PG version of it, yeah, like or like the book, like the B Tech version of it, like that. Do you know what I mean? Not I the think, great version of it. I think China, yeah, or Japan or something. They're getting a big one as well. Yeah, they're probably or Singapore doing or something own. like that. They're, they're building. They're building a few in it. I think Singapore Airport is like fire. Yeah. I've never been yeah. How to check out Singapore I've seen, Airport? I've seen the reels, is this? I swear they've got like a rainforest in the, yeah. in the actual Big waterfall. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. waterfall rainforest Amazing. in the actual um, the actual airport. Bro. So, um, inspirations. Where did your early inspirations come from? Uh, like you said, your family went to. Um, I think it's just it's tough because like I think it was just the idea of telling stories. Yeah, I mean, like just even acting out the stories. I think they've always been. I think that's always been the main focus. Yeah. Did you, as a, as a child, yeah, or as a kid, did you used to have an imaginary friend? I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think personally, I feel, has. yeah, the people who do are the more creative ones when they grow up. Yeah, I think, I think, I think everyone has, everyone had, man. If you can't admit that you have, there's something wrong with No, you. everyone doesn't admit it, though, you know, or everyone didn't have. Trust me. But I still like, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Friday. He's here now, man. <laughs> was yours a 20 something year old female, literally? <laughs> your imaginary friend? <laughs> no, bro. Oh, shit. Um, 45 year old. <laughs> <laughs> your friend. <laughs> I'm no. Uh, shit. Go back. Yes, yeah, so inspirations. Um, 
It was just the idea of telling stories. It was, that, that was always it. Um, I, I watched a lot of like cartoons, Disney films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always wanted to like do something like that. You know, even films, yeah, like, but I think we're probably going to get into this, but they don't make them like they did, innit? But then, like, few of them, right? Obviously, we got all the effects and that right now, but you know, like that 90s era. Yeah, like, I watched Mighty Ducks recently, you know. <laughs> what a fucking movie, man. What a movie. There's bro. a few, like, you know, in that era, there's a few, like, Disney ones as well, like, yeah. PG, not even Disney, PG ones that you they can watch with no family movies and no that. Nothing. Even Home Alone, man. Yeah. I think yeah, that's, that's what would be When they changed movie. the kid, like, I know Macaulay Culkin was getting old in that. <laughs> <laughs> I know when they changed the kid, it was like, it weren't the same, yeah, you know what I mean? Same, they weren't like, the same formula, innit? That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, that's it. You, you didn't have Danny DeVito, like, as well. He was a gangster. Was it Danny? Yeah, it was Danny DeVito. Home Alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. was the robber? Yeah. Yeah, one of the... Um, oh, fuck. Oh, I don't think it was. No, it wasn't Danny DeVito. No, it wasn't Danny DeVito. Oh, <laughs> oh my Petty. God, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. How can I get those Danny two DeVito. mixed up? <laughs> Sorry, man, the insult. Joe Do you know what the worst thing Petty. is? Yeah, I've done one of them trivias about Home Alone because I watched them all and I used yeah. to watch them every Christmas. And You said Danny yeah, DeVito as well. No, no, no. I used to do well on them. That's what I about to say. Um, do you know another thing I used to watch every Christmas right. and I, I still tried to watch it? Mr. Bean, you know the original, like... Uh, what, the Twiglet yeah. episode where he gets... The yeah, yeah, them ones. You know them episodes? <laughs> what episode, they are the bro. best, aren't they? They're the best. Man. He, do you know what the thing is? His acting, yeah. My man didn't even speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. His, oh, yeah. His, his acting, like, I, st I can... I can still remember some of the, the shower one where he's making like a sandwich in the park. Yeah, I remember, I remember all of them. All, all of them. Do you know what I mean? Like, and he didn't do he didn't do many of them, but they're always gonna be in your head. Do you know? They're always. Gonna and I think they're timeless, head. man. Cause yeah, of course. It's course. that it's that kind of comedy in it that's like you can like I said you can you're I watch never, it every you're never every gonna Christmas. Get that man. Again. Yeah, you're never gonna get that again, hundred percent. And you can see it in every language as well because he doesn't speak. Like yeah, 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 for any, real. Any, I didn't yeah. think about that. Be able to just know what he's doing. Even they did a cartoon on it as well. Yeah, it's mad. Um, directing. So, do you, uh, what's the first thing you ever directed? How was the experience? Yeah. The first. And what is your journey into directing? Um, the journey into directing is kind of hilarious, to be honest, because I was in school and we were tasked to create a five-minute short film. Oh. Um, and everyone was doing it about like knife crime or some sort of drama. And I was like, I'm gonna make like a sick, epic zombie movie. And it's <laughs> gonna be half an hour long. Thinking outside the box yeah, though, isn't like, it? Is, Everyone's trying sick. to be informative. You're just yeah, like, nah, and we had like two weeks to do it as well. I was like, what are you on about? I was like, I'm gonna make a sick zombie movie. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I ended up direct, I, just, I ended up starring in it, editing it, doing all the music, doing all the, do, acting, <laughs> everything. And then- All at home. Directing oh, it, all at home. And uh, just no one else wanted to direct it. I was like, well, that's me then, let's go. Uh, we self-taught as well? Yeah, man, I literally, like, in school, they didn't yeah. teach us anything like that. Like, they, they, they taught us, how, well, they were shown us videos on, like, how people used to edit on really old school, like, machines and stuff like that, but never taught us how to, like, actually edit on computers. So um, that day I went home and, like, just YouTubed how to edit, and then it yeah, grew from there, I guess. That's sick. Yeah. That's what I did, you know. Yeah, you like, I gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. So when obviously the podcast started, my obviously the edits weren't too good. Even the captions, I was just adding okay. them from Instagram, and then he and Chase introduced me to CapCut, and then oh, started Cap using that. Yeah, yeah. And then when I did start using that, though, it felt like everyone's actually been using it for years. Yeah, and then yeah, it's yeah. like a secret, but yeah, <laughs> it's so simple, isn't it? You know now, yeah. Now I, when I watch shit on YouTube, I think, yo, that's CapCut. Everything is CapCut, isn't it? Yeah, you look at it, innit? Because they've got that same font. They've got that same. Yeah, you know what I mean? Same push that same. Like, but that I don't Indian, know. It's Indian what hits, isn't it? Yeah. Because they call it like Mr. Beast something. Because his, you know, his shorts or his reels, yeah. He must get millions and millions of views, and that's what he has, isn't it? Because it must hit. Even the colors they use, it must like trigger, isn't it? But he's got a whole team behind it doing that. They they got a team looking at the colors. He must have a director, right, Mr. Beast? No, Hundred percent. He's, oh, he's a director. He is the director. What? He's he, a... he manages everything. everything. I, I'm a huge fan of Mr. Beast. I, I am as well, man. I, I, I and I commend him for everything, everything he does, honestly. man. Honestly, and also, you know, when they do thumbnails, you know, they make like ten. Yeah, 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 and yeah. Put it on and just see which is which has got more clear. It's a and they change years. them. They change the thumbnails every, as well, you know. Yeah, every two years. Oh, what? Yeah. Man, it's insane. It is absolutely insane. That There's is a lot of work that goes behind every video, you know. 
But it's sick, man. There's like it's like a team of like forty editors. There's like fifty cameramen. It's mad. That is crazy, isn't it? It's and it's all him, man. He's just he's like, I want to do this. This is what's gonna work. Make it happen. It's brilliant. And and he's he literally he's literally off doing side quests for the rest of his life. Bro, isn't it? Literally. Like living the life, isn't it? Because he does them big challenges, you know, um, where he gives... Bro, he builds yards in flipping towns, man. Forget challenges. <laughs> 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 They're sick ones, though. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Bro, um, I see my man built a town in somewhere, like, and they tried to sell off the yards already. <laughs> 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 I was dying. I was like, some green yard and that was recently on Instagram. So but man, he, trying to sell it off. Imagine when they done the, you know, the Squid Game. Yeah. The Mr. Beast one. Yeah. That must have been a big budget, innit? You know, to do that shit, man. It's a few million, I think. I remember him saying it. Yeah, no, that's yeah, crazy. It was huge. Um, but he makes like millions per video. Yeah, per video. Oh my god! Now, like, so everything he gets, he puts it straight back. I want to get onto the award-winning part, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. He, he's, so your first directing gig, you didn't? What was that? Uh, it was called. Oh, your school was, one. Actually. Yeah, it was a school. Yeah, it's just a school one. Standard, bloody hell. Uh, that was that was the name of it for some reason. How did it go, the zombie one? Really well. I think it got. I think I ended up getting like a hundred thousand views on YouTube. Oh, oh shit! It. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you did it for school and then you put it on YouTube straight away. Yeah. yeah oh, that's away. mad. Uh, uh, you, you, I kind of learned from early on, like no one cares about your films and no one cares about you until you got a name for yourself. So slap it on YouTube and hopefully it gets somewhere and hopefully people watch it. That's sick. Yeah, that's the. Uh, uh, so that did you promote it and stuff as well? No, no, I just. Oh, I just slap. I mean, that's when I learned marketing, right? You yeah. slap it on and then like no one watches. So you're like, okay, so how can I promote this? Make a trailer, make a poster, make a few clips. And then, and then it go where it is now, yeah. I think it's 100,000. So was that your original motivation to um, chase that career then? Yeah, as soon as I made that film, I was, I was gassed. I was like, this is, <laughs> this is what I want to do. This is sick. This is it, that's Friend, it. Now. Like, just, just, just make films with friends. And I mean, I'm a YouTuber as well. And that was, okay. that was, that was the drive where I was like, YouTube's sick, going to be on this. What are we doing on YouTube? Just just shorts just and that. Just oh, vlogging and stuff as well, yeah? Vlogging. Uh, what year was this? Was it early? Yeah, I think it was 20... I, I, I made the channel in 2009. Okay. Oh, so early. Yeah. Like super early. Yeah, what yeah. do you think is the most fastest growing platform now? Because all of them are a bit of a like, sort of standstill. It's like Twitch and stuff, isn't it? Now everyone's doing streams, isn't it? I think that's yeah, the thing, hot thing right Twitch, now. Yeah, Twitch is a big thing at the minute. Twitch, Twitch is, is quite big. Twitch is huge. I think, I, think I, I still think the fastest growing platform is YouTube. Yeah, I don't yeah, think that's going to change much. Uh, I know TikTok's just become like, or it became like oh, six months ago, like the 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 number one search engine. But haven't Google was for like okay, haven't wait. Universal Music pulled they from had, no, TikTok? It's all back up, oh, is it all back yeah. up? Okay. Or, like, I think like eighty percent of it's back up. Okay, I just think about this though. Yeah, TikTok obviously you do it on your phone, your iPad, whatever. Not on your TV, YouTube. You put it in the TV, so me. Yeah. I literally iPad. YouTube's the yeah. one on TV. You don't put anything else. So on I'll be TV. honest. I used to own the only thing I used to watch on like channel one to five was EastEnders. I stopped watching that as well. So Why? Huh? I love EastEnders. I man. missed it. Innit? Obviously, you know when I went uh, to my sister's wedding in um, February. You ever catch up, bro? I missed three weeks innit? and after that, it was you gone, have to, it? man. How I can't catch up three weeks, man. Some, someone's I have to sit back. there for six Listen, hours. Uh, someone's coming back. Someone's coming. Back. An old school face is coming back. Both. Trust me, man. There's some next level stories going on right now. <laughs> Crazy. I need to go. Yard but yard. even something good thing we brought that up. Even something so long running like that. How do they choose directors? Because like, they must change in it. They can't. No, have they the... have. They chose. They changed the writers. What recently? Since they got a lot of shit. I think. I think every every sort of Christmas they change or some shit. I think is it. It's a, it's 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 ba with long running shows. They they care about the story rather than the vision of it. Okay. Uh. So you bring sometimes you bring directors in to have a vision, whereas. They've already got that vision laid out and everyone's used to it and it's soap, so it has to be fast. So they just bring like, they will just hire someone to do a few episodes and then they'll go and someone else do a few episodes. Oh, so they rotate directors. It, so yeah, you can, so if you don't like the next director, I'm going to leave a yeah, shit like, <laughs> fucking little thing for you. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's crazy. That is actually mad. Yeah, and it's a soap, innit? So like, you can't be picky. You, know, you need to film like five scenes a day. It's mad. That is crazy. Shit. Yeah, I think there's like 20 pages or 10 pages. I'd love to be an actor as well. That'd be sick. Yeah. Have you ever thought about it? Yeah, I've thought about it, man. You know, <laughs> like one of those, you know one of those jobs you want to do, like sort of thing that you don't think requires much because you feel like you can do it. If you see someone acting, you think, oh, I can. No. You know what I mean? Like, you, you see it. No. You know, I, I, I sometimes see it. Think, Yo, if I want listen, I saw something, yeah. Have you ever tried to remember lines? What? Have you ever tried to remember lines? 
That's the not thing. like your job, like when he sells something, because he's just repeating yeah, the same no, shit over I, and over again. I've, of course, I've had to remember lines. I've had to remember lines. Obviously, you know, I've had to work in an environment where it's verbatim, where we have to remember words for word. Exactly. Yeah, but that's over and over again, right? Not just like one But off. I think in terms of, yeah, I think I could. <laughs> I think I could. It's not easy as it looks. It's, not, it's, it's not as easy as it looks, no. But I think I could convince someone that I'm feeling a certain type of way. <laughs> Go on, yeah, yeah, go on, go on. <laughs> no. Why you should be the prime minister instead of? The... You need to cry as well. No, man. like I think I could like. Yeah, go on quickly. No, but I couldn't. Go on, do act that. it. You're acting. Come on, bro. Yeah, but no, I, you could. No, I don't think I could do that right now. But no. I, <laughs> I think it can be done, though. I think it can. I think you got it. Yeah, I think you got it in your role. Nah. Yeah. What do you mean, no? Nah? No, nah, I think I can do it. Oh, uh, <laughs> but not now. Yeah. Obviously, I'm under influence. Not right now. Jimmy, I think he's trying to like hint something at you, you know. I'll get your card details after this. <laughs> <laughs> we start your IMBD page, isn't it? Uh, IDB. Well, RJ, fucking famous actor. Isn't it? <laughs> we're getting touched, isn't it? We're getting touched, man. So, um, was your, you know, when you were doing your vlogging and that after you did your first video, you started doing the vlogging stuff. Was that your full time job? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, in a way, it kind of still is. Um, I get most. Mm, I get probably. Yeah, I, get, I think I get. I think I get most of my income from YouTube right now. Okay. Um, so I, I think it's. I'd, I'd say it still is. Uh, you can get. You can get paid really well on YouTube. What is your YouTube, by the way? Just tell them. Joey Lever. Just my name. Just Joey Lever. So yeah. boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any inventive names. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How many? Sub, I was going to say how many subs you got. I've heard of YouTube how automation. Many? What's all of this how as well? <laughs> that's, that's that's a whole other thing. Oh, is it? Yeah, 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 that's a whole other thing. Uh, I've got 300,000 subscribers. Yeah. Okay. 300, and how, how did you grow them? Did you just did you just start vlogging and then people just seen it? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Well, um, I started vlogging and then I started making films. And I started yeah. making like behind the scenes of them films. Yeah. And then I got people that want to be filmmakers follow me. And okay. And I used to do sketches. On, I used to do like Call of Duty videos. I did everything. Oh, shit, um, man. So you dipped into every little bit of... I dipped in everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I dipped in everything. Um, but... Yeah, no, I do, YouTube's, uh, I, I, I mean, I still do it today. Like, it's still, when I can, it's, like, it's one of them, isn't it? Well, how did you, like, um, reach your milestones? How, when did you get to 1,000 subscribers? Do you remember? 1,000 subscribers was with Bloody Hell. I remember that vividly. Um, and then I got to 10,000 on all my Call of Duty sketches. Yeah. And then it was, like, a slog to get to, like, 50. I remember <laughs> I just made loads of films. And then I made... Uh, a film called Spider-Man Lost Cause, which was my first fan film. And that got me from like, I think it was like, I think it was 40 or 50 to like, like my first 100, yeah. And um, when you were doing it then, how many hours a day were you putting in or was it just full on? Oh, like, yeah, it was full on. Like, there was one time I remember where I didn't sleep for three days because I was editing the film. Wow. And uh, that was my first, like, have you ever had sleep paralysis before? Yeah, man. I've oh, that was my first ever introduction <laughs> to it. I Googled it, I was like, why did I do it? And I was like, because you've not slept. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> sleep paralysis um, is mad. Yeah. At this time, were you uh, living-wise, were you living with like other creators or just by yourself? No, or? no, no, I was family. Oh, just with family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was in, I was in the bedroom. This is well, man, when I was like, probably like 17. Probably younger. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2009, I don't know when that was. You're an OG in this shit, innit, man? Yeah. That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's good, man. 300,000 subscribers, that's a very like... That's sick, man. I, you yeah. know what? Back onto that thing, man. I can't believe, first of all, for your Spider-Man film, you're featured on New York Times. How? Yeah, how did, did that, that happen? Even sort of like come about. So it's the same. New York is, Times, like. Yeah, I know that. That's. Yeah, that was fairly recent. That was the second one. Yeah. So it, it went back to, obviously, like when you when you make films and when you're an independent, director, yeah, yeah, yeah. no one really cares about who you are. You, yeah. you just care about the name. Yes. Uh, names attached to the name of the film. Mm. If if they're like, oh my god, this new film by blah blah blah, you're like, who? You know what I mean? Like, you need you need that names attached. So I, I I thought to myself when I was in uni, I was like, okay, I'm leaving uni now. I need to like figure out how to get my name out there a bit more. So I picked my favorite Marvel hero, which was Spider Man. Yeah. And uh, made a film, and then put it on YouTube, and now it's got 65 million views. That that is is crazy. Crazy. Congratulations, man! man. And now the name's out there, right? Even name me—is that your government name, Joseph Lever? 
My 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 government name is Joseph Lever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I hate the word. I hate the name Joseph. <laughs> no, well that's good, man. That's good, man. So, um, yes, you hit the views on that. How did they pick it up? Uh, what Marvel? Uh, yeah, well, Marvel and New York. Well, yeah, oh, how did sorry. it all work? Oh, uh, yeah, New York Times. So that was the second one. I made I made a sequel because um, the first one did well. The first one did well. I did a sequel. Um, and New York Times was there was a controversy with fan films at the time. Yeah. Uh, if if do you know about Spider Man Lotus? Okay. No. Google it after this. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Um, but basically, they was just talking about fan films. Yeah. And they um, messaged me, just wanted to talk about like how the like the creation of fan film goes, and I think there was like a Batman fan film in there, and but that that original controversy sparked off. And it was supposed to be about that, but then it was more about the love and passion film makers put into fan films. Yeah. Which was nice. You know what? Yeah, let's break it down. What some people might not know. What's a fan film? A fan film is a film made by a fan. Yeah. That's, that's literally so you're a fan of Spider Man. Sorry, you're a fan of Spider Man, you love yeah. it. So you made the video, but did you use clips from the no, actual no, no. movie so, or so so the, the I think the, the, the definition of a fan film is is when a filmmaker uses uses an IP okay, yeah. for their idea. Right? Yep. So I had an idea to make a fan film. I wanted Spider-Man to be a part of it. And then I used actors, uh, my own crew, my own cameras, to then, we made the CGI ourselves, the suit ourselves. Um, oh, shit. And then we made... What was the budget on that? <laughs> like 100 pounds, like 200 pounds. <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 it's crazy. <laughs> The second one only... That's a big turnover from yeah, yeah, £100 yeah, budget. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? That's, that's crazy, everyone bro. Everyone, I remember there was a comment that I loved. And it was like, this is probably the world's first uh, Hollywood... No, backyard Hollywood film. Backyard I Hollywood. That was like, that is sick. Fucking crazy. That is amazing, that man. That is really cool. £100, £200. I mean, within yeah, it was £200. It was nothing. But I think we spent 50 quid on the suit, which was from Amazon. I, I <laughs> the, the most of the money went on... Uh, these lenses I had on the mask and they were like limited edition Spider-Man uh, glasses that were in the shape of his lenses. Oh, yeah, and yeah, And I yeah. snapped them off and put them on my... And they were like 60 quid. Okay. That was the most... And then, and then food, obviously, but that was it. It was mad. And then how did you, how much did you monetize That's off great. that, if you don't mind me asking? Was it... Nothing. No. Nothing. Why? So, because it's a fan film, I can't make money off it. Oh, okay, yeah, because uh, you use their IP. Fair. Because I use their IP. It's their yeah, IP. Yeah, yeah. Like, for me to not get sued... I've just got to, at the start of the video, every single person makes, just I do not it. own this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Claim, I do but I'm guessing this. the opportunities that came from it and your name being out there, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. huge. Well, that, people, that's yeah. enough. Right, right? Yeah, that's it. it. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. So you're getting all of that rather than Absolutely. the monetary value. And for me, that's... I think we worked out the monetary value the other day. I think it was like 70 grand Ooh. that I could have made off it. Yeah. They could have? Could have. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, but they copyrighted it. So they, Marvel actually get the money. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard got, of that shit happening. Got the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so if you make a fan film using their IP, they get paid off it. If they copyright it, yeah. Oh, fair. Okay, fair. Yeah. Um, and then, so that was the first one. Yeah, and then I made a second one like five years later. That's I think that's just about to hit ten million. And what made you what made you do that? Just because the the one was so good uh, and got good uh, feedback. Yeah, there was a few things. I mean, I wasn't very happy with the first one, and I was like, I could definitely make this better. That was my first goal. Um, Why was that? Is it because you learned more things in that period of time? Yeah, like the, I, 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 I didn't learn a lot in uni. Um, <laughs> I just, think most people didn't. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so standard. <laughs> it's like the most standard story. So like, I, I learned so much more making that film, and obviously from knowing nothing to then finishing, going, I, 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 I can definitely like make a film now. Yeah. yeah. I can, then I'm like, okay, well, now I want to start from. I can definitely make a film now and see what I can do with it. Was it still self-learning as well? Or were you going to like courses and stuff? All self-learning. All self-learning, uh, yeah. I learned everything about like VFX, like editing and special effects. That, that was the hardest part. I learned a lot about editing and directing on the first film. Yeah. The second one was like, because it's Spider-Man, right? You have to do the swinging scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had yeah. Venom, so it was like a CGI character. <laughs> like it's like none of it was like practical at all. So like... Same budget, £100? Uh, this was like 500. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it tripled. <laughs> but it's still sick, man. For 500 pounds, you got... Yeah. So what just, advice do you have for us? Well, do we need to do more skits and start directing 
movies like Cheech and Chong. Or but something. what? As what? As a as a podcast channel? As a content creator? What are you asking as? Like content. <laughs> we need to do more content. Wait, well, the, the only advice you should ever listen to is just like, just do it. Like, mm, like, you like you've got the idea, you've got the people, you've got the kit, you've got the place. You just got to do it. Mm. That's that's it, right? Like, that's it. What's holding you back? Yeah, what is holding you back, RJ? What's holding you back? I do it, bruv. I do it as well. That's why we put out them. Um, we did that like, little vlog thing where we went to the yes, boxing. we did. I don't know if you've oh, seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I saw you yeah. guys there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did like a little mini vlog thing where like, um, we interviewed two fighters, didn't we? We did Dion and we done. Um, you were there for Dion. Right? Yeah. So how would you market that? Okay. If we if we if we did that, obviously we put that short out. Yeah. Obviously, how would you market that short? I would, I would, I, I, I would how would you do it? Spread every little juice that's left in it, right? Literally make, how long is it? It's a couple of minutes. I've yeah. done two separate videos, about three. Two separate videos, three minutes three each. Minutes three each. minutes each, yeah. Three minutes each. Uh, well, I'd, I'd, I'd spread that content as thin as possible. Like make, if you can make 10 shorts, make 10 shorts. You've got an interview, you've got one interview, you've got the intro, you've got the outro, you've got highlights, you've got best bits. Yeah. Like mm. there's so much content you can make from it. Even behind the scenes of making that content. Even like like editing that content, like what, what, what how you did it, <laughs> why you did it. Why you're you just filling it? his brain right now. He's <laughs> sitting there like, yeah, <laughs> so good. It so is. Much stuff you He's thinking, yeah, this is actually <laughs> true, man. Yeah, you know, we could have done all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, we could have. We could still do that, man. You know what? Hundred percent. Yeah, I'm so bad on CapCut, though, man. I'm so shit on new technology. Sh I'm so bad. You know what it is with YouTube? Yeah, you always gonna remember all the videos that we've ever put out, all the podcasts that always still be there, so you can get video still from any of them you get me like little clips and that yeah it's also mm. there. yeah it's also there and it doesn't matter if it's old because some of the old videos they might not have got any views or some of the new viewers might have not seen the old videos and that's how you get them back on the old one i need to leave some of the whatsapp groups i mean you know huh because they fill your phone up with shit. oh yeah the do. whatsapp groups you know, you're <laughs> trying to find something on cat you're trying to do something merge the video yeah, yeah, yeah you see some dumb videos and dumb pictures sent no it's, i think it's a good um, we've got the right tools, like Joey said, we've got the right yeah, tools. Yeah, no, we do have the right That's tools. That's another thing about the tools, right? Like, even, like, if on the day, if you got behind the scenes of you guys doing it, or just got quickly got someone, or put it on a tripod. Yeah, yeah. You literally take a video of that. This is how we set up this moment. Tag all the brands, they'll share it. Yeah. Uh, you had, you had, you had mm. Apple, you had a DJI with you. What was that little crane thing you had? Yeah, yeah, like, so, yeah right. DJI, we tripods, had the, everything. the mics, what the mic, road, road mics, mics yeah. Road mics, they love sharing that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got like 100,000 followers. Like, that would have been an easy share, wouldn't it? <laughs> we can still do it. I'm yeah. still going to do it, you know. You should. I just need to get some more time, innit? You know what it is, yeah? When you're editing your own stuff, you need a lot of time, innit? It? No, it is a time for you, yeah. Especially if you're learning as you go in. Mm. So, you have to watch a video on YouTube, then you have to go on your. Have to laptop out. whatever it is then you have to look at another video yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> i started when i started yeah I, I can't lie i used to get so sidetracked and then a few times i sat down i turned everything else off and i was just watching it and then i just learned i just learned i just learned and then i got to a certain decent standard now and then now he loves it man every time i upload a video yeah, for real he messages me like yeah. sick one man yeah. <laughs> yeah. i don't know about the auntie thing but that, was, <laughs> I, I know he's, <laughs> that had me dying though um so, director, what is your dream directing job? My dream directing job is probably to work on something with Disney. Like that's that's the dream for me. Disney, yeah. Yeah, anything Disney. Disney. I'll be I'll be there. The ha the mouth of house. Yeah, the man, house I love of it. I, honestly, I I love that kind of stuff. It's like it, I I was brought up with it. I, I, I still to this day I get so excited when there's a new Disney film coming out. I'm always the first one in the cinema. I've got your opinion now on something. Oh, go on then. So let's go. Everyone knows this Disney sort of hidden secrets yeah, in their movies yeah. yeah and you've everyone's seen them as a director that's a director doing that right that's the director putting those oh putting things. easter eggs and shit yeah in movies. easter eggs yeah. i think that's yeah. sick man it's yeah. so sick how they do that like especially disney that's it's the genius best at it. yeah it's, it's genius how they man. merge movies and make like they might have a little character from one movie. Universe is in that the it's so sick, sick how yeah, they do yeah. that that's and crazy it, it, it came recently like it just came out of that every single time you watch it because you're talking about Pixar, Pixar films and in yeah. Pixar they always have like the next film 
or like yeah. if they're if a character somewhere Nemo, in the yeah, like, yeah toy in Monsters Inc. Yeah, and they had like an uh, the apartment number, yeah, the room yeah. number. Exactly. They had it's a number plate or something uh, like it was their secret office or yeah, something. Yeah. A O two or something or something like that. One one nine. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. Um, stuff like that's good. But what they've done recently is at, at the end of every single Disney film, they'll have like a picture of like a character of the next film, and obviously they did that with the new Moana film and then the Moana 2 came out. It's amazing, man. Oh, I love it. Sick. I love that stuff. It's sick. You know what it is as well, yeah? Do you have any kids? I have one child, yeah. How old, if you don't mind me asking? Six years old. His name's so, Tristan. So, this is what I'm saying. So, back in the day, whatever we watched, yeah, <laughs> you as an adult, yeah, you might feel a type of way of watching it again, innit? But because we've got kids, we can go back. Oh, that yeah. Toy Story, for example. No, the thing is, we I had a conversation, yeah, about about uh, with my friend about this, like about watching kids, old school shit. No, no, no. Like, you look at the programs we used to watch, yeah. They've ruined them. They've ruined them, bro. You think, for example, those, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's all three D five. Oh yeah, it's all, yeah, it's all yeah. shitty. Like He Man. New film sticks. Though. Have you seen it? Mutant Mayhem. No, I love that's that. Sick. I love that's that. Sick. That's yeah. it. But the but the shows, yeah. what they've done. It's SpongeBob. Yeah, like. Yeah, because that's all 3D now, isn't it? Yeah, they've all made it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they've all done it like 3D. They've all changed it and stuff like that. It does it. It's, the stories aren't right because they're trying to make it more softer, like for, for this generation rather than the way our generation was. Like, yeah, but it's a transition. Don't you think it needs to happen? Nah, I don't think it needs to happen. Why? What was wrong back then? Us. <laughs> Look how <laughs> we turned out, bro. It <laughs> turned out bad. I uh, know, I know what Hard you mean. Hardworking people? Yeah. But I don't know. It's just, they've got more technology in it. They're just trying to implement the technology, like make it into 3D. Maybe it's easier for them to mm, work it, make more episodes quicker or whatever. I don't know, but I don't know. there must but be a reason, like, isn't it? For example, yeah, X-Men 80. Yeah, well, yeah 89. 89, sorry, yeah? yeah? yeah. Like, <laughs> how many, how, how, like, Disney, rele Disney released that? Everyone went crazy because they loved the way the animation was how it was back exactly in '89. The, yeah. the same. What are you on about? So X Men. <laughs> yeah. So you know back. You know that one. Yeah. 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 You know yeah. Yeah. we watched it as kids. Yeah. 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 You watched it as kids as a course, cartoon. Course. This the, the animation you saw. They've kept the same now. 2024. The animation's the same, just a little Sick. bit more in in high definition color. Yeah. Yeah. But they've not like made it stupid or just made more it crisp. dumb or made just made it more crisp. I love crisp. that. I love that. Yeah, That's and sick, just man. made it more with the times in terms of what they're talking about. But they, they've not changed anything the way it looks. Everyone's loved it, and so many shows are going in that direction now. What I don't like is when they ruin something that was so loved in the past. Do you get it? If, if something was so loved in the past, why not reinvent it like how they've done with X-Men? Do you know what I mean? Like, instead of... Because why would you want to change something like that? Yeah, it's like Fairy Odd Parents. You've seen that? Yeah. Where it's like, now it's like all cell shaded and yeah. characters. And it's like, why? What, why? Do you know what I mean? Like, why? Yeah. Um, why? <laughs> Literally. Why? Um, any dream job, so... Actually, what projects are you working on? Because I know there's one that... Yeah, I was just about... You know really what we were talking about outside? Can talk about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, there's a few things. There's a few things. I'm not, I've not directed a film for like three years because yeah. of, of COVID. Um, what, till now? Is it affecting you till now still? No, no, not now. No, oh. no. I think it, basically what happened was COVID hit and obviously we weren't allowed to do anything. And then like, it's so hard to get back on set. Yeah. Like just bring everyone together. I think it's like the anxiety of it, right? Because it was, it, was, it was so long without it. And then like, it's so like, the, the making, and people really don't talk about it much, but making a film was one of the hardest things in the world. Just like, it's like a jigsaw, imagine, right? Oh, it's the hardest thing. Like, imagine trying to get five members of crew that like, can only do one job, and if that one guy can't come, you'll have to find someone else. And then you got the second team, which is the actors, and then you've got the location. If that all falls through, the weather, if that all falls through, and you've got 20, 30 people... You're literally scheduled. directing the whole yeah, like, thing. Yeah, it's tough. It's so Fucking tough. So, like, getting back on set is really hard. So It's like a circuit, isn't it? If one piece of the circuit breaks, then everything yeah, falls it. apart. Then everything falls apart. Yeah. So it's really hard to get that momentum. So I think the idea of being on going back on set was really tough. Um, until recently, I, I told, told myself I would actually do it. Um, hmm. So we've recently uh, started working on a film called Never, which is uh, a, a cop drama, which we'll be doing in a few months. But also with that, we're making a film uh, called Littlefoot, Yes. 
A Land Before Time remake, which was one of my favorite films of all time. A great movie. Yeah. Man. So is this a short or a full, a full film? Yeah, it's a short. So basically, the the original film was like an hour and a bit long. Yeah. Um, it's all it's all like old school animation, eighties. Oh, so sick, sick. what they've not done, which I'm so confused about, is what that they've not remade it. They're remaking like every amazing classic. Why yeah. haven't they remade? I don't know, but I, it confuses yeah, me. Yeah, this because it's such like a timeless film. Like it's it's perfect. It it talks about like like segregation. It talks about like uh, uh, like you know bravery. Like it's it's, it's it touches it's, a lot of different. Yeah, it does, man. Honestly, that movie made me cry, it's man. So it's it's brilliant. Like it's I swear. Brilliant. How many times have you watched it, Russ? Probably about twice, three times. Probably more. Probably, yeah, obviously, my memory is not as great as it used to be. But that movie made you cry, bro. It kills you. Take, trust me. Watch that movie with your kid. If you don't cry, I'll be shocked. <laughs> so what does? Um, okay, I've got a funny question now. What does Wallace and Gromit come under? That's uh, claymation, isn't it? Yeah, that's not real people. Obviously. <laughs> 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 Shut up, man. <laughs> man <they're> not real <laughs> you know, wait, actually, this I've got a question for all everyone, to be fair. What's one remake you want to see? Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> <laughs> As real people. <laughs> real life Wallace and Gromit. No, seriously, what, like, don't um, say Wallace and Gromit. What's one remake you want to watch? Bro, remember Gargoyles? No. Do you? Is it, is it cartoon? Yeah, old school. Too. Yeah, really old. Yeah, it's not really of. old. Shut up, man. Yeah, it is old. Of course, it's old. How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm thirty. Oh, so you're a bit younger than us. Oh, you might not remember it, but Gargoyles. Yeah, I think it was just before his time, but that was sick as well, man. I like to. So, what kind of remake are you asking? Like a movie or anything? anything? Movie, go on, movie. Movie, yeah. What would you remake? I know, man. Because you know, sometimes if I tell you a classic like I love Scarface. Yes, yeah, Scarface is a remake. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, but I would like them to remake it again, but I don't know, man. It'd be very they are, different. They are. Apparently, they are. They, they, they have that been for a while. Like a film that they'd remake. They have been for a while, bro. Yeah. Or like remaking it? Yeah, apparently. I know. Apparently, there's been a fucking Fresh Prince movie, uh, movie that was supposed to come as well. Yeah, that's that's good. Have you seen that? I've seen like a clip, no, but I thought that they, like... They, yeah, they, they, they've done that. that. I thought it didn't happen. Yeah, they've it. done that as Bel Air, innit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Bel Air, It yeah, came yeah. out as a show, man. They, oh, they, come yeah, out, so yeah? basically, I think Will Smith saw the um, fan-made um, sort of YouTube um, trailer that he did, really liked it, got in touch with the guy, because it, it was like the darker side of growing up in, in Bel Air, so obviously it's told from a different perspective. It was really good, to be fair. If you haven't, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's sick. But Gremlins, man... Ooh. Gremlin. Why the f why haven't they remade Gremlins? That's a good one, you know. I like, seriously. I guarantee that is a good one, you know. I think you've just uh, yeah. done one of them Simpsons moments where you just predicted something that's going to definitely Bro, happen anyway. That movie needs to happen, man. Yeah, I've happen. been waiting for yonks for that, man. It'd be cold, you know. That's a bad thing to say. I was going to say that. Like, director of Simpsons. Who is that? In it. And how the fuck did they keep predicting everything, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah how, how, well, it'll be it'll be Matt Groening, won't it? The yeah, yeah, yeah. How, 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 so it's him. He's how is he doing creator, this? Isn't it? Huh? How is he doing this prediction everything, man? That's mad. Well, the thing I think how many episodes is there? There's like thousands, right? Thousands, so yeah. If yeah. You keep, if you keep throwing shit at the wall, one of them will be right. I think that's the way it's going. But like you know, like getting Trump as um, president and shit like that is that. You know, if you thought about it a few years ago when that thing came out, you'd think it's a joke, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, they did, made it as a joke. Wait, it was a can joke. I not say, did he not walk out to many men? What, did he? Yeah, when he got shot. Bro, we need to talk He's about that. Out I was going to ask many you about men. Bro, he walked out to 50 Apparently, yeah, many yeah, men. that was staged. As a director, do you think that... Do no, you, no bro, I've been researching A guy that. died. <laughs> I've been on that. I've seen, like... There's been like seven other camera shots. There was like a guy on the roof and then like there's all these supporters, Trump supporters like filming them. Yeah. There's a guy on the roof. Yeah, man. And like there's CGI oh, renderings of like how it happened. And like he was like, like the sniper wasn't like just a, a rat. Like you think he's a bad shot, but like he was like obviously aiming for like a part of like the Moe's oh. area. The thing is, is it like it's crazy. Even like all the, like the secret services took ages, man. Like I... I I mean, they were shouting them, man. Like there was yeah. videos on Twitter of like all the Trump supporters telling, like, telling the uh, telling all the local like police and like security mm. that there's a guy on the roof. And no, they didn't believe them. I think it sh it highlights the security in America, and, and now I think it's it's like yo, we we oh, we just saw a president be assassinated in our in our life. 
That is crazy. That you know would have I mean? been mad. It that, been, that, you know, if it happened, if it all went through, that would have been the craziest thing ever. But you know what? I think it's helped his campaign. It's massively helped his campaign. Oh, yeah, 100%. Especially that ending. Like with him, Biden like, can't... Biden. Like, yeah, the guy literally rose up. Because, wait, 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 yeah. wait. Bro, just like, yeah. Literally like that. And yeah, that, like, that come on. Feature. He knows that's the coldest album yeah, cover. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> with blood all over the like, that. Got many men with death upon me. Do you know what I mean? Like, he had his hand raised to the sky. I know, man. He's he's sort of revolution, man. The reason exactly why I asked, didn't it, man? 50 Cent on the same night <laughs> dropped a concert with his face on him, on, on like his body yeah. with a cover. Yeah. There's oh 50 Cent. I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, him, with, with like Trump's head on, on his. He's like, a troll, face. though, isn't it, man? He's a mega Bro, troll. He's sick, man. He must have the best PR team, yeah. Because yeah. how quick with 50. he is. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. quick he is on on same on, night, bro. He's wow. mad. That's mad. <laughs> he's mad. That's crazy. Yeah. That he must so have a director, did it? He must. He's, have a <laughs> but he's got a team. <laughs> he's got a team, man. The guy's got a team. Um, collaborations. Have you collaborated with other directors in the past? Yeah, or? yeah, I've collaborated with a few. Um, and how do you meet them? It's 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 a tough one. It's usually like Instagram or like emails or oh, yeah, yeah. you go to network events there was one time we we won an award for a film called ghosts and in the audience was a uh, film investor oh sick who then came up to us and asked us to direct a film with them so there's so many like, opportunities like that where uh you meet people and collaborate um you know little for when is that coming out when when is that hopefully in like hopefully in just after this year I want to watch like it. We're, we're so, we've, we've, we've designed all the characters. Like you said, like, we're not trying to reinvent anything. We want to like... Take your time with it, man. Take your time with it. But also like, you've seen the Lion King remake, right? Yeah. It's one of the worst remakes. I didn't like seen. it. There's something, I was going to say what... I didn't like it. You know it. your what? questions you asked here that what was one thing you want to see remade? What is the worst one? And I think he's just answered that. And what is something you think they shouldn't remake? Back to the Future. Yeah. They should never remake that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. Perfect, that has yeah. to just stay as it is. Yeah, isn't as it? much perfect. as much as I as much as I really liked it, Back to the Future is one of them. I think it, yeah, it's just too perfect. It. Like, how how can they make it better? Have you, you ever watched them back to back? Yeah, the all three. All in one sitting. Yeah, yeah, man. Sick. I all in one, all, all in like one makes more sense, sense in it. You know, when you watch them all together, it makes a bit more sense, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, Especially the last two. It does. The Wild West stuff. I love the it. The first man. and second film is crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they're, re they're redoing Prison Break. Fuck off. Yeah, they're doing. They're I was going to say new, that, you know, but I didn't know. No, 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 no. They're, doing, they're, no, they're doing a new Prison Break. They're doing a new Prison Break. I had a very I long. Think, I don't think the guys are involved. I think it's another thing, but I think they're doing a whole new Prison Break. Thing. All right, so Prison Break, yeah. You know me, how I got into Prison Break and how I watched it. It was Christmas, and I can't tell you what year because I don't know myself, but it must have been like 2014 or 15, yeah. yeah? Netflix has just dropped. You have to have an account on that. You get 30 day free trial, innit? For the 30 day free trial, clocked all the prison break. Yeah. Because it was Christmas holidays, innit? So I just sat there with you know the I like, You know what I liked about prison break? <laughs> I liked all the prisons in prison break. When they're on the run, I found sense. it shit. I, I just thought living oh, in the I prison see, bit. Yeah, yeah. I liked when you're in prison one, the first prison, the second prison, and then the, the, like the, the one in, um, what's it? The one in the, I don't know, it's all being ran by this one guy. I love the concept of that. Yeah. Though. Prison Break was sick, man. I used to look, even that, that would have been like a big project as well, isn't it? You know, finding yeah. prisons and that. And then, because they did, obviously, they went abroad and shit, innit? After in the later um, series. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, they, so, so also, like, they, do you watch that? There's, um, oh, what's it? There's a prison, there's a prison show right now at the minute. It does, goes around prisons as well. Dangerous, all these dangerous prisons. Oh, like Ross Kemp? Not Ross Kemp. So the guy on Netflix. Most dangerous, world's most dangerous prisoners. Okay, yeah. It's actually quite sick, you know. Similar. Yeah, I love stuff like that. I love, I love yeah, documentaries yeah. like that. I sit yeah. there for time. Uh, how do you feel about you know? Right now, you say obviously a lot of stuffs coming with Netflix. Like people are getting loads of new jobs and shit. I think they're putting a lot of money into potential stuff that they can see. Have you ever been approached by them, or yeah, you ever I mean, see we, yourself we, doing stuff with Netflix? We street streaming is very similar to just filmmaking in general. Uh, what 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 I know is that it's it's made a lot cheaper. Okay. So there's a lot of jobs that aren't coming about because of streaming, especially with like um, Disney Plus and 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 
all them kind of streaming shows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the budget gets cut like a lot. But we've, we've I mean, we've made a, a film for Amazon Prime. Um, oh, shit. Which should be out this Halloween, next Halloween. Hopefully at some point in <laughs> Halloween should be out. Um, but we've, we've, I mean, we've approached Netflix, we've approached Amazon and everything. So That's crazy how it works because you know what I saw that Death Patel, you know that Monkey Man movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it wasn't made by Universal, right? Then? So what it was basically, yeah, they, they buy Death Patel yeah. made the movie. Oh, he directed it. He everything, directed yeah? it, he did everything, right? Yeah. He gave it to, he, he gave it to, he, get his, he basically pitched it to all these like big film companies. No one said no. They said no. Allow it. No, Netflix, I think Netflix shelved it. They said, yeah. oh, nah. Not good enough. Leave it. It's not good enough. And then he was like, one of his contacts he sent it to, Universal liked the Universal said, oh, we'll buy the movie for 10 mil. They paid How 10 much? Mil. They, built, they paid 10 million for the movie mm. and they made about 80 mil off it. Yeah. Just obviously they have that power. Tying their it. name to it. And obviously the movie was ready made. All they had to do was just put Universal on it, release it. Market, don't, market, don't, market it. Yeah, way, that's yeah. it. Just market it. Is it is the best way. And then I think that, that's sort of giving um, independent directors an opportunity as well. 100%. You know what I mean? And you I just think need that's that it. money first though, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you need that money. You need, you need money to make money. You need money to make yeah. money. That leads yeah. me on to another question I had. Um, do you think directors are more, they've got more experience when they transition from actor to director? And a lot of people do it, isn't it? Uh, it, it depends on the person. But personally, um, I, I believe that I couldn't have been a good director until I filled every uh, every role. So I was an actor. So I, I know exactly when I talk, tell an actor how to speak, how they feel in the moment. I, I also did sound on set. I use like mics like, my, like, like these. So I know when I talk to my sound guy, I know where the mic needs to be. I know why it needs to be there. I don't know all the issues he's going to have surrounding the area. I've been an actor, I've been the sound guy, I've been the camera guy. I'm a camera guy in my own uh, line of work now. Yep. So like, I know how the DOP is going to feel. So I believe, personally, I, I, I can't be a good director unless I know everyone's job. Yep, At 100%. Least, like, you need to know what you're directing and how, yeah, how to make that job 100% like, I, I the mean, best. I, I worked with a director once, obviously I won't name names, but like, he did not know how to speak to the actors, he did not know how to speak to the crew, and he was just in his moment doing his thing like, okay, we need to get this. How do we do that? And then everyone's like scrambling around, like, okay, yeah. I guess I guess we'll have to figure that out. Then do you know? You know, it's tough, man. You know, with all your line of work, do you always have a script or do you just sometimes freestyle it? It depends. When I made my film Ghosts, I had a script, but we never stuck to it because it's supposed to be like a mockumentary. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. when we're in, like, like the office and, and Parks and Rec. Yeah, yeah. So like when you come off script, it's usually so much funnier. So we stuck to the general story, but. Put in our own use that use it as a narrative in yeah it, we use it as bullet points yeah, 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 yeah. I, see, to get I see what you're point. saying but we'll see how to we get to that, that point but basically. when we're making like a full-fledged film we have to script, script it yeah 100 yeah, percent. Else, else it can go over budget or over times and everyone gets their own like you can't have too many cooks in the kitchen while making yeah. it. you can't no. um and my last question was going to be what would you what advice would you give any young and upcoming want to be director actor anyone who wants to be in that sort of field work with people better than you yeah every single time if you're if you're the stupidest person on set you're doing something right because <laughs> you can because you learn yeah because you because oh, yeah, you cause you can learn off every single person i think that's very good advice you know yeah, yeah. That's just you, advice yeah, to yeah. you can learn off every single yeah i mean like, if you if you if, if you're the smartest guy in the room you're, you're doing something wrong and you can't learn how, how can you learn um, knowledge is power knowledge is power, power man yeah thanks very much for coming on man it's been a you good episode yeah, I, I learned a lot I learned a lot again I love <laughs> learning you know what that's why I love the podcast because I learned so much yeah man. man yeah yeah um, just want to say a big up to our sponsors Mama's Kitchen big up Inbreed Designs Payroll 2 I forgot the trainers again big up Man Made Barbers with a crispy fade all the time big up Zap Me Up the interactive business network solution um, we've got Flexi Car Hire, like I said, Summer's here, so if you need a car for any occasion, hit them up. And big up RS Glass and Glazing Limited every time, man. Anything you need to do with glass, hit them up. That's it. That's the podcast video. It's a wrap. Big up. It's a wrap.